So Early Doors Club is basically for people who like a bit of nostalgia, still like going clubbing. They come together, feel like it's a safe space. We've got an old school vibe, but we play new music, and that's that's what I think the difference is. But the main thing is, it starts at five o'clock and it ends at all ten, so you can go home, be in bed before midnight. And there's nothing really like it in town, but it ends early. So people can go home to the metro, they can get a bus or whatever transport they need to get home. That's for all the people, they don't want to be out till four in the morning and absolutely being crazy and, you know, missing their Sunday with their family, putting things off and on Monday morning feeling low. What we realised when we were doing the research is, you know, people could go out all day, but it's very far-led, there's no entertainment, there's no music. You know, they might be going out for meals, but it's very costly. So what we tried to do was provide something that was like full-on entertainment straight away. Uh, quite cheap tickets, so early bird tickets are nine quid. We wanted a low sort of base for people to buy tickets. And we always make sure that the early bird tickets go out to the people that are signed up that have been tonight. So faithful people that have supported us, they get the chance to get the cheaper tickets straight away. People need to come to a place where they look at each other, they're not judged, they feel safe, they feel like when they come they're not going to be silly. They can put their phones in their pockets, forget about the job, and just have a really good night. And there's a lot of women here that feel safe. There's a lot of couples. That's what it's all about for us, just the good community of people that are able to do something that's not really available for them elsewhere. And myself and Rich, my partner, we'll be DJing. We're going to do it all night, like we do, like all night long. We just want to play a wide range of music to people that are probably of all ages. So we don't talk too much about the music policy and try and get pigeonholed. It's real clubbing, so there's no messing about. It's not like a bar where there's some DJ in the corner. You know, the numbers are steadily growing. We sold 215 tickets tonight, which is amazing. People come in on the door. And from the early get-go, there's a core of people that have spread this organically. We've got a private Facebook group where people feel like they can share stories. They post about where they're going to meet first before they come out. And it's a real community, and that's really important.